Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you as we wrap up another three-day race week here on the Sunday card with eight of them for you. And that means the Rainbow Six is race number three, $225,000 in the gross jackpot guarantee. And we've got a stakes race for two-year-olds today as well. Race number six is the Aventura. We'll stretch them out to a mile. And we'll also send it upstairs to track announcer Pete Aiello for your course and weather conditions. The weather is beautiful, partly cloudy skies. The main track will start sloppy after some early morning rain. The Tapita track is always fast. Track starts sloppy, Tapita track fast, and they're at the post. R Racing at Goldstream. Outside, it's Kelly who springs out to take a clear advantage. Moving to him, Gary's Flying Lion, and these two get acquainted, and they put on some big-time speed as they've opened six on the team of Redisser and Anthony's Rocket, their third and fourth. Left behind early, the late-running Don Tonio. Look at this breakaway. Gary's Flying Lion beats Kelly who to the lead and moves into the four turn eight or ten ahead of Anthony's Rocket, who's now third. Back to fourth and Redisser and Don Tonio with a ton of work to do, but a ton of pace to chase as Kelly who and Gary's Flying Lion continue to spar. Past the 5 16th, it's Gary's Flying Lion in front. Callie, who is second. There's still 10 better than Anthony's Rocket, who's third. Redisser's back to fourth, and D'Antonio last of all. They straighten for the drive. Gary's Flying Lion getting away. Gary's Flying Lion now an eighth of a mile from home and five on top. Here's the late run from Anthony's Rocket. He has a shot at him. Uh, back third is Callie, who 16th to go. Gary's Flying Lion trying to hold off Anthony's Rocket, but Anthony and he's going to get him. Anthony's rocking in time. Second. That was Gary's flying lion up for third. Redisser, Callihu, the big favorite, flat late in 104 and 4. to break Daddy's Pigeon and Opus. Golfaxi and Ale's Gift, the first two to fire. Here's On the Dot moving through at the inside. On the Dot will challenge for control in the run to the half mile point. Fontina comes away in fourth behind the speed ahead of Daddy's Pigeon and Opus is last. Half a mile from the finish on the dot with rail position and the lead. Golfaxi second, Ale's Gift travels strongly enough to the leader's three wide third. Four back to Fontina who's an improving fourth ahead of Daddy's Pigeon and Opus is last. They're inside the three-eighths of a mile mark, and on the dot leads with inside position. On the outside, it's Ailes Gift from between horses, Gulfaxi. Fontina is a bit green while kicking into the outside with a quarter of a mile remaining. 22 seconds for the opening quarter. It's on the dot. Has to deal with Ailes Gift on the outside. These two off the corner. On the dot still has the lead. Ailes Gift is second, but now she has two lengths to make up. Back to third. That's Gulfaxi. On the dot in front, but Ailes Gift starts to gain now. Here comes Ailes Gift on the outside of On the Dot. Ailes Gift surging forward now. Ailes Gift is in front. On the dot is second. Gulfaxi is third. Opus is fourth in 105 and 2. just a touch slow and distraught. Uncaptured star away quickly and ridden for the early lead, moving out the rail cage in hope. Away in third is Baltic Mule. Three back to Tick Tockable, then Smoke and Bow. No speed today from Shake Up, last of the six, as they race to the half mile point. The leader is Uncaptured Star. He's clear a length and a quarter over Baltic Mule in second, locked in third, Cajun Hope. Up to fourth goes Tick Tockable ahead of a fifth running Smoke and Bow, and the trailer is still Shake Up. 
Around the far turn at the three for long point. 22 and three for the opening quarter. Uncaptured Star has the lead with a very wide move. Here's Smoke and Bow charging to challenge. Getting room between horses is Cajun Hope. TikTokable done no favors in that exchange as they run to the top of the stretch. It's now Cajun Hope who takes the lead. Smoke and Bow tries to run with him. Uncaptured Star still has rail position. Back to fourth and TikTokable. They're at the top of the stretch. Cajun Hope has the lead toward the outside. Smoke and Bow. He continues on with its second. Six ahead of Uncaptured Star. They come past the eighth pole. The leader is Cajun Hope. Smoke and Bow tries again on the outside. Cajun Hope or Smoke and Bow. Smoke and Bow and Cajun Hope. Cajun Hope digging in. Smoke and Bow one more time. Cajun Hope. Cajun Hope turned away Smoke and Bow and beat him a neck. Uncaptured Star third. Fourth is Tick Tockable. 111 and four. start for seat at the table who's one of the first into stride and heading off for the early advantage moving up on the outside that's she can scatters now second dancing and then dixie is third at the inside followed up between horses and in a bit tight there is classic ballad betty is next ahead of let's go coco then can't stop dreaming and la mirada dropped out to trail as they round the first turn up front, the leader is seated at the table by a length and a half over Classic Ballad in second. Headstrong and locked in is Danson and Dixie. She's a joint third with a three wide she can scat. That's a length back to Betty. She's racing by herself in fifth. At the inside, let's go Coco. Then La Mirada. The trailer is Can't Stop Dreaming. 24 and 3 for the opening quarter. They're five furlongs from the wire. Jockey Edgar Zayas doling out the speed of seat at the table, who leads by a length. Classic Ballads in a flanking position second. She can scat on the outside third. Danson and Dixie is glued to the rail while racing in fourth. Then it's Betty. Down inside, let's go Coco ahead of Can't Stop Dreaming. And La Mirada, one of the favorites, is last of all here through a 49 and 3 half mile. Around the far turn they go. Loose now. Danson and Dixie from third into the clear. Sliding into her spot was Let's Go Coco. So she's a contender now from fourth. The leader is Classic Ballad battling back seat at the table. Danson and Dixie boldly now. From last, La Mirada's underway. She'll look for racing room through three quarters. In 113 and three, they turn for home. Danson and Dixie step down driving by Miguel Vasquez and kicking clear. Let's go, Coco is up into second. La Mirada's trying to get into third with Classic Ballad trying to turn her away. But with a 16th to run, Danson and Dixie is a three to one winner. Authoritatively in the end, four on top. Let's go, Coco second, Classic Ballad held third. Then La Mirada, 142 flat. was off slow, but not as bad as usual. Good start outside for Dancing Doll, who heads off for the early lead. Splitting horses is Raw Honey. Raw Honey to the top. Lexinator in the red colors comes away working toward the inside. Drinks on me behind them. Far outside, runaway breeze with Dancing Doll. Back from there, Solaire is three wide. Second last forever ours. And Hey Hey Paula last of all as they swing to the far turn. 
The opening quarter in 22 and 4. Not that quick. And the big long shot. Raw Honey, clear a length and a half. Runaway Breeze, second. Solaire, third. Lexinator is back to fourth and drinks on me. Dancing Doll gets started. White Blinkers, well, four wide. Maldonado's way out the center on Hey Hey Paula. She's on the move while trying to sweep them about seven deep. And they're at the top of the stretch. The leader now is Solaire. Way out the center is Hey Hey Paula charging to challenge. Runaway Breeze, the leader. Eighth of a mile to go. Hey Hey Paula down the stand side. Tries to catch Runaway Breeze. Solaire and Drinks on Me are next to the wire. Here comes Hey Hey Paula at Runaway Breeze. Hey Hey Paula, Runaway Breeze. Hey Hey Paula. From last to first while way out wide, Hey Hey Paula gets the job done in the shadow of the wire in 104 flat. Aventura. Some crowding in the center gates. Bumped into his Divietto and trying to write himself secret chat. Jive into the top flight with self-sufficient as they run out of the chute. Even after some early trouble, it's Divietto who will take charge out of the chute. Leads by about a half a length. Out the center, don't be so grouchy, is now second from Jive, who's back to third. Self-sufficient is there fourth, followed fifth by secret chat. The early trailer is Braun. 23-2 and two for a pretty quick opening quarter. Jockey Hum. Edgar Zayas doling out the speed on Divietto, who leads by a length and a quarter. Don't be so grouchy. Second self-sufficient is at the rail. Jive is between horses. Aramiel picking a path for the favorite secret chat has dropped better than seven lengths off this loose leader and three more to Braun. They passed the half mile marker. They went the opening half mile and 45 and four. Divietto aggressive up top trying to run them off their legs. From the back, Secret Chat begins to warm to the task. He's in the black colors, four wide, and he's on the improve. Here comes Secret Chat with a bold bit into second. Divietto the target with self sufficient third. The three favorites, one, two, three, with a quarter of a mile to go. Divietto is still the target. He's got his ears up with a length and a half edge. Secret Chat made that big rush into second. Second, but now he's stalling. Self-sufficient is hit his inside. Then it's a gap of four to Braun. But Divietto still rolling here. Eighth of a mile to go. Divietto trying to see it through. Secret Chat tries to pick him up. Secret Chat starts to get to Divietto with a 16th to run. Divietto almost there. Secret Chat gaining, but time running out. Divietto will hold on to win it. Divietto narrowly in the Aventura over Secret Chat second. Self-sufficient third. Braun is fourth at 137 and two.
Extendo, the favorite, quick off the blocks, and he'll take a clear lead in a hurry. Wow Wish is second from No Name Dude in third at the rail. That's began in Greenpoint. He moves up to take fourth. In between horses, it's Marley Luck, and out the back is Grand Bay. To the half-mile point they go. Pretty easy lead for Extendo. He leads a length and a half. No Name Dude is on the outside of Wow Wish in a joint second. Two back to began in Greenpoint. Grand Bay three wide, and in between horses, Marley Luck. Around the four turn they go, 22 and one for the opening quarter. It's the track record holder. It's Extendo, clear by two and a half. No Name Dude is second, three back to begin in green point as Wow Wish throws up the white flag. A quarter of a mile left to go. Just light handling here from Edwin Gonzalez on Extendo. He's off the turn now, six lengths to the good. 44 and four for the opening half mile, eighth of a mile to go. Extendo leads by as much as he wants. No Name Dude is second, began in green point and Wow Wish are next. It's it's Extendo. He's four to five and in front. Extendo wins while never threatened. No name dude second. Wow Wish battled back for third ahead of Began and Greenpoint fourth in 103 flat. Far outside, Mrs. Cashman quick off the blocks. She crossed over right into the face of Cheru, who had to slam on the brakes and lost about five positions in the exchange. So Mrs. Cashman leads by a length and a half over Ghost Force in second. Moving up is For the Thrill, who's down toward the inside. Starship Dynasty is next. Then back to How About Dat, way out in the center after some pretty severe early trouble, Cheru. Next at the rail is De City Girl, and Kingdom Spirit is last. Half a mile from the finish, 23 and two for the opening quarter. Mrs. Cashman has the lead by two. Goes for his second, three wide. How about that? At the rail, it's for the thrill. Starship Dynasty is next. Cheru is on her outside as they run past the 5 16th. Trying to thread the needle inside. Anthony Thomas on for the thrill. Driving through to challenge Ghost Force. And how about that? These three across the course. Mrs. Cashman is next. Then Starship Dynasty and Cheru. They're at the top of the stretch. On the inside for the thrill. Cuts the corner and tries to go with four. How about that on the outside? How about that? Striding forward to take a clear lead. For the thrill has done everything she can, but she can't stay with how about that? Luca Panici for Ron Spatz. It's a five to one winner. How about that? Indeed. Second is for the thrill. She was nicely clear of Ghost Force, who was third. Cheru, early trouble cost her, certainly. She was fourth in 119 flat. And that's a wrap on the eight race Sunday car. We'll take a little breather and be back with you next Friday. Eight races on tap then and the traditional 1250 first post. We hope to see you out here at beautiful Gulfstream Park.